There's not a lot of good cover in this room, though. Uh, that's the problem with a lot of these rooms in here. Is it, it's kind of hard to take cover uh, once you get into the main room because the drones can fly around and flank you so quickly, it just becomes tough to deal with them. So I like usually using that hallway until they, their ranks are down a little bit. And then we go from there. Okay, actually, hang on. You two come over here. Garrus. Thank you. Holding position. Stay here. I'll be back once I take care of these junctions. Uh, can I do it from here and not get poisoned? Okay, there goes that. My, my barrier went down a little bit. There's kinetic barriers around the... Do you really think that's going to stop me? <laughs> nice try. Uh, this one might be a little tough to do, though, without uh, blowing the barrier up. What are you guys doing? Oh, that's what I'm doing. Alright, fine. You can stay. It's fine. I didn't want you to get poisoned, but I guess you I guess I got poisoned in spite of the fact that I have a medical interface on. Maybe it's just too strong of a toxin. I don't know. There's that one, and look at that. The poison's already counteracted. Not even bad. Oh, I'd put them around to all of them. Come on, VI. I know you're just defending yourself, but you're defending yourself from people who, you know, don't need you to defend yourself from them. I mean, I guess I'm trying to kill it, so it doesn't matter. Let's just back up from that a little bit so it doesn't poison me. Poison Garrus. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh, well. It'll, the poison will come here anyway. Yeah, there it goes. It's to come on. <laughs> Not even bad, man. It's not bad. It would be very useful here coming up in a little while. But there go the second of three computing clusters. Only one left now. I get the feeling those, uh... Did that take down all the... No, it didn't take down all the barriers. Oh, well. I was going to say, I get the feeling that's going to cause the barriers to go down, but, uh... No, no, it's it's still active, because there's still power in this place, so that means that as long as there's emergency generators, these kinetic barriers will stay online. And I think, if I recall correctly, these kinetic barriers stay for the third uh, base as well. So that's kind of bad. I almost missed this. There we go. Razor 7. Well, all right, well, I've seen the other two before, but I haven't seen Razor before. See if it's any good. We got a shit ton of rounds and all that other stuff. They're giving us a lot of uh, round uh, ammo upgrades, but not a whole lot of uh, actual weapons upgrades. Let's see, Armageddon. Whoa, that's pretty good. Hey, Tally, got a new shotgun for you. <laughs> oh, it's one of the older models. I guess it doesn't matter. It's better than what she has right now. You know, might as well take it if we can. Cost of fabrication. I guess this is what you want would want if you wanted an older model um, of the weapons, but you still want one that's really good. And it's better than what she has in every way, so who am I to argue? Razor's alright. Is that better than what Liara has currently? I forget. We'll have to look when we get back to the ship. But for right now, we got one more, uh, one more yawn to stifle and one more base to take care of. Speaking of Liara, I wonder if uh, the fact that we are doing this mission will allow us to get her other conversational entries. Because, I mean, I got her so late in the game. I think this isn't the one that I just went to, right? Pretty sure. Well, we're going to find out. <laughs> I'm going to save out here, actually, because uh, just in case we end up engaging them somehow when we walk inside, I might as well be careful, you know. But yeah, speaking of Liara, I kind of hope that I managed to get her uh, all of her conversation entries that she has. Like, There's a certain amount of conversations that each person can have with you, and we're almost done with basically everybody else in the ship. We're basically almost done with everyone else on the ship except for Liara, because I got her so late in the game, uh, we have to kind of play catch-up with her conversations. So hopefully the game cooperates with that, and I don't just get, like, ooh, Karpov, an Explorer 7 for Tally. Not bad. I wonder if that's better than what she has. I think it's more balanced than the Phoenix Armor, because the Phoenix Armor is more based on tech and biotic protection, whereas Explorer, I think, is more balanced. Karpov. Eh, that's not bad. 
It's a Rosenkopf weapon, so you know it's got to be pretty good. Although, really, I'm more into Rosenkopf's armors than I am into their weapons, but that's mostly because of uh, Mass Effect 3. But we'll get to that later. And there's the Explorer armor. It's it's kind of like what she had at the beginning, but uh, more bluish. I like it. I, I think the Explorer armor is probably my favorite look uh, for Tally, other than, like, the, you know, the... There's a type of armor that you can get that's, like, really ridiculously good for everyone. It's called the Colossus armor. I've never gotten a piece myself, probably because I don't have a station installed, to be honest. Um, because that's where you have the most likelihood of getting it. But, uh... Never done Pinnacle Station myself. So... Can't really get it. But it looks really cool. <laughs> it's like... And it's got really damn good stats, too. So, like, that's that always helps. There is, like, no cover out here. Great. <laughs> Alright, well... Stay here, I guess. I go ahead and check it out. Hold your positions and get a sniper rifle again because it will help you on the way out here. So I draw the. They're gonna hear me and they're all gonna come running, aren't they? Hello? Ah, rocket drum. Yep. Let's just not get hit by the rockets. And oh my god, he's. He's a maniac! Look at him move! Getting shot at again. It's not good. I can see them kind of trying to flank me here. I'm just not really sure what I can do about it, to be honest. Okay, there's the rocket drone. He's not the one that's uh, hacked. So we are just gonna throw everything we have at him. Before he blows me up. Because that would just suck. Uh, damping and damping. There we go. And yeah, I'll throw an overload in there. Why the hell not? Nice. Okay, that blows him up. Those two kind of move on me, so fine. Do we have any tech abilities left? We have their sabotages, so I guess we'll use those. I should have used them more time, huh? Oh shit, I'm getting hit here. Hang on. Let's do this, we'll do this, and then I'll back up here. As soon as I pop a barrier. I'm not popping a barrier. I need to get off the wall and pop a barrier. There we go. Oh, well. That went pretty well. I know there's still this guy left, but that's okay. Assassinate him! All right, only a couple left. Let's go. Uh, Garrus, why don't you get the assault rifle out? I hope that doesn't, like, glitch assassination or some shit. That's... Whoa! Rocket drone. All right. Oh, hacking's back. Nice. Okay, no, he's coming right at Tally. All right, hang on. Uh, how are we going to deal with this overkill? Get out of here, you maniac! Okay. Friggin' AI hacking, man. Only works when you're in stealth. Hold on. No, no, no. Don't go that way because of rocket drones. Well, whatever. Okay, there's an assault drone over here and a rocket drone there. He's almost dead, though, so... Uh, no, not Garrus. Tally, you damp that one. Garrus, you damp that one. All right? There we go. That should work. Oh, they blew up the cover. Great. And assault drone, assault drone. All right, so let's overload the one that has shields left. Yeah. Get rid of these, and he's flanking. You cannot flank me! Who do you think you are? Gotcha. Alright. Area secure. Good job, team. <laughs> that one went a lot better than I thought it was gonna, because that one's usually the toughest one. It was probably the easiest one, to be completely honest with you. But then again, I'm well prepared at this point. I know what I'm dealing with here, so I know how to... Deal with that. I probably could have done that a little more efficiently by using my tech powers one at a time and letting them all blow up, you know. But, uh, oh well. Not a big deal. Alright, um, I want to go first, left, or right? Nah, when in doubt, go left. We'll, we'll go left first. Let me guess. Yeah, that's what I thought. Um, you guys stay here. I will be right back once I Additional security drones powering up. Well, that doesn't sound good. The hell are they? I don't see any in this room, so... I guess we'll worry about them later. Let's get rid of these conduits, you know. I mean, I'm sure the, the conduit's just trying to protect us. Not the barrier, Shepard. The, the actual machine behind it. Thank you. 
I hope the actual conduit isn't this protective, or else we might have a little bit of a problem. Because it probably has, like, protein levels of protection on it, you know. And I imagine, since they were such a highly advanced race, they would uh, want to protect their assets with a lot of... Oh, that explains where they are. With a lot of uh, security. I would imagine, anyway. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. You guys have those. Go overkill marksmen, because we're going to deal with them when we get inside. And open the door this there they are assault drone assault drone is there a rocket drone in there i can't tell is that one a rocket drone that's right over there i don't know let's uh let's do a hack see if it works this time and i will overload and you can damp, yeah, I think we'll damp. that's a rocket drone okay. let's, let's not do that come on Rocket was gonna hit me in the face, but it didn't. Let's sabotage his rockets and ah, damn. Should be Very close too. There we go. Whew. What are you guys shooting at? Stop it. There's nothing in that room. They can be crazy. They can be crazy together, you know. But not crazy together. Oh, no, that's not, that's not something that's gonna happen. If you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I can't really comment on that, whether I can confirm or deny that. I haven't really revealed uh, who Shepard's romance is yet in this game. <laughs> oh well. A burst of white noise over all frequencies nearly deafens you. Your hard suit heads up display interprets it into a series of binary code. Let me see if I. It's been a while since I've done binary, so let me see if I can. H. E. L. P. Help! What do you mean, help? The VI was asking for help? Well, I guess it's an AI now because it was sentient, but what does it need help for? They repeat again and again, blanketing all frequencies until the lights on the final VI cluster flicker and die. Apparently, I got a specialization class out of it. That's cool. Your specialization class will replace your base class in the talents on the squad screen. Talent ranks in your base class transfer over to your specialization class. Go to your squad screen to view the bonuses you gain with each rank in your specialization. Not bad. So basically, for finishing the Rogue VI mission, you get to specialize in a particular set of talents, depending on what class you're in. Now, because I'm a Sentinel, I can either specialize as a Bastion, which improves my abilities with Barrier and Stasis and reduces the charge time on all my Biotic abilities, or I can specialize as a medic, which improves my first aid and neural shock abilities and reduces the recharge time on medical abilities. I'm going with Bastion because medic is, it's nice and it's probably better for if I was on insanity difficulty because I would need the metagel a lot more and neural shock would be probably better because it just takes them out of the fight and you can just, you know, take pot shots at them. But uh, I like Bastion because it gives me barrier, which is something I already said I was you know, putting in Master for, so I may as well get that, and I may as well also get recharge time on my biotic abilities, because, I mean, I wasn't using them recently, but I use them fairly often when I'm fighting organic enemies, so I'm going to go with Bastion. And now, if we take a look at the squad screen, let me let me get the equipment thingy all done here first, we'll do that. If we take a look at the squad screen, you can see that now... The Sentinel ability that was right here has been replaced with Bastion, and now we have six more points that we can put into it if we so chose. I don't want to put six more points into it because Barrier Specialization, which is what I want, is going to be right here. Um, and the, the farther that you go into Bastion, the more it decreases the recharge time on your Biotic abilities, and it retains all of the abilities that you had from Sentinel. So I still have the Pistol Damage, Pistol Accuracy, Cooldown on Biotic and Tech abilities, Marksman. So I still have everything that I had before. I'm just getting better now. So now Barrier is basically going to be something that I'm going to want to pop once I get about the Barrier Specialization, once my shields are completely depleted, because Barrier Specialization basically acts as Shield Boost and Barrier all in one. And that's really nice. I really want that to be used here. Phone's buzzing again. Oh well. I really want to use that as the point, um, because it will allow me to uh, 
keep myself alive a lot faster. And like I said before, Shepard is specializing in barriers, so that's kind of the point here. Is your decryption still advanced there, Garrus? Yeah, it's still advanced. That's okay. You've got master damping. That's all that really matters. But yeah, so we have our specialization class, separate. and the VI is taken care of. So, we should probably get out of here. Hopefully they didn't deploy any other uh, drones out here now that the VI is destroyed. I wonder how much money it's going to cost the Alliance to take care of that. We've probably cost them billions of dollars. Although, really, let's think about this from the Council's perspective. If they had found out that we were creating an AI, essentially, like we were experimenting with sentient VI, or AI technology, here on the moon, so close to the main planet where we first came from, they probably would have thought about blowing us back to the Stone Age, just like the Turians thought about it when we were, uh, you know, in the First Contact War. So... We would have faced some sanctions, I think, and that would have been bad for us. So I guess it's good that we took care of this discreetly. You okay, pal? You okay? All right. And that is going to do it for Luna, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we won't be seeing this side of Earth again for quite some time. But it's been nice while it lasted. And I'm not going to bother looking over the rest of Luna for raw materials because it's more than likely that we've picked them clean in the time since we've been here. So let's head back to the Normandy. We'll return to the Citadel, tell, uh, you know, file a report with Admiral Hackett, let him know that this is all taken care of. And then we'll ask Captain Anderson about Novaria and Vermeer. And by uh, ask him about Novaria and Vermeer, I of course mean ask him about Novaria and report that we have Dr. Tassoni on board because... Uh, we're not going to Vermeer just yet, but we will do that relatively soon. It's not going to be too long. Of course, the rest of the game isn't really that far away when you really think about it, but uh, yeah, well, we'll get to the point uh, once we get there. But for now, we need to file our report with Hackett, although I don't know if it actually does that. Apparently, I... Did I get one for this before, or am I thinking of a different mission? I think I'm thinking of a different mission. Oh, well. But we took care of the Rogue VI, so that is all uh, said and done. Maybe he's just not contacting us because uh, it's, um, you know, not discreet enough that he would contact us here. Maybe the Alliance, or not the Alliance, the, uh, the Council races are listening in and they're like, Oh, what the hell was that commotion about over in the local cluster? So he's got to be careful. <sighs> I guess we'll just include it in our report to uh, Captain Anderson when we go ahead from here. So let's travel to the Citadel. We will uh, take care of filing our reports with uh, stuff on Therum and all the other side quests that we've done with the captain and with Ambassador Odina, see what they have to say about it, and then we'll get some information from uh, Captain Anderson about where we're going. So, back to the Citadel once again. Alright, back on the Citadel. I just realized I haven't really bought any of the Metagel and Grenade upgrades that are here, have I? might have to go take care of that stuff off screen while I'm here. Or maybe I'll just do it while I'm here. I think I know where they are anyway. Um, I think the grenade upgrades are at that one uh, Volus merchant uh, on the way through the wards. Which is fine because I think I need to go to Dr. Michelle's office anyway to take care of um, getting a metagel upgrade so that I can have, I think 8 and 8 is the maximum, but I'm not 100%, like 8 metagel and 8 grenades, but I'm not 100% sure on that, it might be more than that, I just don't think I've ever gotten any more than that, because I haven't really needed any more than that in any case in this game whatsoever. Might as well take Liara with us, because she hasn't been around for the Citadel recently. Um, who did I take last time? Caden and Garrus? We'll go with, uh, we'll go with Liara and Ashley, I think, they, uh, Ashley will want to see Captain Anderson, I think, because he's, he's relatively respected, you know, over the course of the whole everything. He's relatively respected over the course of the whole interior pressure alliance, with exterior so atmosphere. she'd probably want to just say, the hey, how's it going, you know, is I'm ashore. Exo doing my job, has the deck. keeping Shepard safe, all that stuff, you know. So I think, I think it's fair to take the chief with us. It's funny, though, because this, you know, with all the side quests done, oh, we can take off the helmets now. I should probably level Ashley up, too. But it's funny, because, like, with all of the side quests done here, the Citadel feels pretty empty. <laughs> I 
It's kind of a shame. Maybe I shouldn't have done all the side quests so early, but uh, whatever. I said I was getting you master... What is this? Adrenaline boost? Yeah. Um, now what else am I going to put in for you? Because I don't need you to have pistols or shotguns. Uh, Combat armor, maybe? I might do combat armor. She doesn't really need master immunity, does she? Hmm. She'd be leveling up to 43 regardless of what I got for her, I think. Let's see what Master Shield Boost does by comparison. Restores 40% of your shields for per second for 2 seconds, so it restores 80% of your shields. This restores all of your shields, so it's basically like uh, my barrier once I get a specialization. It has recharged time of 45 seconds, but she has Adrenaline Burst, so she can do it a couple of times if she needs to. Immunity lasts 10, 15, probably 20. 20 seconds is a recharge. I think this is a better investment, honestly. It'll get her... Uh, she'll be using this, basically, when her shields deplete, and then it'll reduce damage by 80%, which is quite a lot. So probably immunity is a good idea for Ashley. And, of course, she's going to have a ridiculous amount of health as a result, but uh, that's not necessarily a bad thing, I don't think. Um, I don't want to do this with Liara. I don't know if I want to use stasis i don't know if i want to upgrade stasis because she has two let's see it's one two 40 41 42 versus one two 40 41 42 43 um i don't really need the extra first aid i don't think because pretty much everybody has advanced first aid and i'm not going to give her electronics so we'll level, level stasis why the hell not you know we might end up let's see so that's 40, 41, 42. Yeah, that's about where we're going to end up, I think. If we get a lot more levels for some reason, like if we end up at like level 45, I'll probably end up giving her uh, Master Throw. Just because she can Singularity them, and then she can toss them all through the air. And that seems like a pretty good combo, in my opinion. Not bad, ladies. Nice matching. Although, uh, the camo's a little different, but whatever. Presidium technicians are struggling to understand why a computer system catastrophically overloaded recently. Technicians are reportedly unsure of what caused the malfunction, or even what the system was originally designed to do. CSEC is investigating the possible vandalism or misuse of public property. That was probably the, uh, the AI, uh, the computer console that we destroyed way back when we were first here on the Citadel, huh? I suppose it probably hasn't been that long since that happened, probably like a month, a month and a half, and since there wasn't really any evidence left of, you know, the AI and who, you know, the only thing they probably had was who programmed it, but the guy was in jail, so they were pro they're probably still committing to an ongoing investigation there, I think. Um, let's go over here first before we go and talk to Captain Anderson and uh, see if we can't find uh, anything new at the Rex officer. See if he has the HMW pistol for Liara. Hello, Commander. Hello, Mr. Requisitions Officer. I need Show supplies. Show me what you got. I'll open the rare stocks for you, Commander. Enjoy. Thank you. Oh. Well, I wasn't expecting to find this here, but there's the Colossus armor. <laughs> okay, then. Um. Yeah, definitely wasn't expecting that. Holy shit. <laughs> Scorpion 6 is there, which is better for Liara. How much was that again, the Colossus armor? 570. Oh my god. Look how much better that is for Ashley. Like, come on, man. I mean, I have the money for it. Ah, do I want it, though? It kind of defeats the purpose of the game, having Colossus armor, though, because, like, she would never get damaged with that kind of, you know, protection, you know? She has 78 damage protection. If I put an Energized Weave on there, she gets extra tech and biotic protection and 420 shields. That is ridiculous. Like, you don't even need anything if that's what you have, you know? You don't even need to do anything other than just shoot things at that point, but... I don't know. Uh, we probably don't need Raikou 9 because I think I got a couple of better pistols that Liara can equip. But yeah, there's the Colossus armor. Uh, I can't show you what it looks like because I didn't buy it, but uh, I don't know. Probably defeats the purpose of the game, so I'm not going to bother with it. Okay, so this brawler is a slight upgrade to that one. The Karpov is that. The Razor is slightly less accurate, but more damaging. And it's one of the old models. We'll just, we'll just stick Brawler on there for now. Till I can get her an HMW. 
you don't always get the HMW when you go to the Rex officer here or to the uh, Rex officer on the Normandy because sometimes um, they just don't keep it in stock. It's, it's relatively random whether or not it spawns. I just got lucky with it the past couple of times that I went there, and that's why everybody except Liara, who has a pistol, is equipped with an HMW model of it. Um, I'm going to go to the med clinic. I'm going to buy the Medigel upgrade, and then I'll walk my way over to that other Volus merchant. I forget his name, but I'm going to see if I can find uh, the Medigel and grenade upgrades from them. And then I'll meet you guys back at the Presidium, close to the embassies. Okay, back here, and I almost forgot that uh, Conrad Werner is back, and he evidently wants to talk to me, otherwise he wouldn't have the option to talk again. A commander. I've been waiting for you to get back. Uh, yeah, did your wife divorce you after the last chat that we had? I've got an idea, and I wanted to run it by you. Conrad, this isn't really a good time. I got a lot going on right now, but I can spare a moment. Great. This will just take a minute. With so many human colonies being attacked, I'm not sure that one specter is enough. What if you signed me on as another specter? Are you serious? <laughs> I don't think I can do that, man. Conrad, I don't think that's a good idea. But I'd make a great specter. I'd be right there with you, showing the Council what humanity is capable of. I know you're afraid to trust people after losing your team at Akuz, but I'd never let you down. Conrad, that is not a good issue to push, and here's why. What about your wife, Conrad? She trusts you too. Aren't you letting her down? What? I, I don't understand. You should. Your wife needs you at home. I need you at home telling people about, you know, the things that go on out here in the galaxy. I need people at home supporting me. You know what keeps me going out here? Knowing that people back home are keeping humanity strong. You... You're right. I just got so caught up in all of it. I wanted to help. I'll go home. Thanks for setting me straight. You're welcome. He'll be helping. I don't know if he'll do a good job, because he's kind of incompetent, but, well, whatever. I'm sure we'll never see him again. <laughs> uh, I'm going to talk to Marlon, see if he has any better Omni tools, because uh, Expat up, here, up there had better Omni tools. But I'm going to see if uh, Marlon has anything for sale, and then I'll meet you at the embassies. All right, we're back here at the embassies. Uh, Morlan and Xbot and Dr. Michelle didn't have any upgrades for Well, I shouldn't say that. Morlan had a grenade upgrade for me, but they didn't uh, have a Metagel upgrade for me uh, at Dr. Michelle's office. But they did have uh, Morlan and Xbot, that is, had a couple of new licenses for me. They had one for Armax Arsenal, and Morlan had one for uh, the Geth Armory, which means that they have salvaged enough Geth tech now to actually make weapons that are based on the ones that they do which is kind of crazy but uh oh, whatever captain ambassador we are back from Therum. i heard what happened under the artemis tau cluster the council wasn't too happy about the destruction of those prothean ruins yeah they let me know about that this isn't a game ambassador shepherds out there trying to stop Saren from destroying the galaxy i know i know just try to be a little more careful the council's watching you and we all get judged on how you behave. All right, you got it, Ambassador. I'll try to be more careful next time. Captain, how's it going? Yes, Commander. Uh, we already talked about all those. Vermeer, Kahoku, Noveri. Really? He's not? Oh, well, yeah, actually, we have Vermeer and Noveri. I was thinking there was a different option, but uh, I don't know what that option I thought was, because maybe i was thinking the artemis tau cluster would be here but we've already been there so we don't really need that option i don't know i'm being an idiot let's talk to him about novaria what can you tell me about novaria novaria's trouble always has been the whole planet's basically a center for corporations to conduct illegal research watch your back there shepherd specters are about the only form of citadel authority novaria respects but they aren't popular all right i'll be careful out there captain uh thanks for the information i should go I'll be here if you need anything. You got it. We'll talk to him about Vermeer when we're actually planning to go to Vermeer, but for right now, we are not planning to actually go to Vermeer, so I'm not really concerned with getting information on it yet. He probably needs some time to look it up anyway, because they literally like just contacted me out of the blue with Vermeer, so 
there probably isn't that much information available to him about it. I swear to God, Tutorial Arrow. I swear to God, you stupid... Oh, my God. It haunts me. It wants me to die. Well, it can't haunt me while I'm here. I'll say that much. At the very least, we can get out of here now that we know... First of all, that uh, everything's going smoothly with the council, or as smoothly as it can go. And second of all, uh, you know, what else was I going to say? I got the grenade upgrade that I wanted. Didn't get the Metagel upgrade, but I'm sure that'll happen eventually. We got to come back to the Citadel anyway to contact, or to talk to Captain Anderson about Vermeer, so. Admiral Kahoku, a respected member of the Alliance military, has passed away. The veteran soldier who won the love of his troops during conflict with the Batarians died of natural causes. Kahoku is survived by his wife and three children who are planning a small private memorial service. I hope they'll be all right. It, it is too bad what happened to Admiral Kahoku. I kind of wish he... He seemed like a pretty nice guy, and he probably would have, you know, been helpful when we... When our relations with the Council improved, he probably would have been helpful with the human vanguard of the Citadel, but... Ah, it's too bad. We'll live, we'll live better for him, you know. We'll do better next time in his honor and memory. It's not like we knew him that well anyway, but, uh, you know. When a rear admiral of the Alliance dies, that's kind of, uh... It's kind of a big deal, you know. It's, it's... He was a very highly ranked officer, and now he's dead, so... Stand by, shore party. Decontamination in progress. As long as that's all you're doing, Normandy VI, I'm fine with that. Just don't start coming alive and start pumping toxic gases into the ventilation shaft. Decontamination in progress. <laughs> I don't think that would happen. 